Hi, my name is Simran Sandhu, and I'm an undergraduate researcher working in the field of synthetic biology at the University of Calgary. The fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989 was actually several years before I was born, although in 2015 I did have the privilege of visiting a museum in Washington, D.C., where I saw firsthand a section of the Berlin Wall. As a child, I wanted a career where I could have a positive impact on health. Working on this project has strengthened my resolve to tackle global health challenges through building new technologies. Virtually every cell in the human body requires vitamin A for growth and specialization. But over 253 million children worldwide are estimated to be vitamin A deficient. As a leading cause of preventable blindness and mortality, vitamin A deficiency, or VAD, is highly prevalent in regions where diets are nutritionally lacking. Now, many previous mitigative initiatives have experienced limited success over the long term. A prominent example is vitamin A supplementation programs, which are unsustainable as any disruption to the supply chain can put communities right back into a vitamin A deficit. Another prominent example is the Golden Rice Project, which is unfeasible due to multiple economic and agricultural reasons. But what did we learn from these previous initiatives? Well, we need to collaborate with VAD communities to equip them with non-imposing tools that are designed around their lifestyles, their economics, and their community resources and infrastructure. Only when VAD communities have the tools to dismantle the wall of vitamin A deficiency themselves will the wall be truly removed. OVIDA is a project that aims to provide VAD communities with that set of tools. OVIDA entails a nutritional yeast rich in vitamin A that can be sustainably cultivated directly by VAD communities as an edible supplement. This yeast can be grown using local resources, such as large terracotta pots, as part of local micro-enterprises and schools, creating a community-based supply of vitamin A. This supply can then be distributed, cooked, and consumed. OVIDA therefore strives to enable communities to break through the wall of vitamin A deficiency that impedes their daily living. OVIDA's driving force is its integration of innovative scientific principles into a community-based approach to VAD mitigation. For example, our yeast needs glucose to grow, but it's neither sustainable nor feasible for VAD communities to obtain a continuous supply of sugar for the yeast's cultivation. After learning that these communities have an abundance of agricultural waste, we were inspired to repurpose it as feedstock for our yeast. We therefore took an innovative approach to sustainability by using the tools of synthetic biology to genetically engineer our yeast so that it can break down cellulose, an essential component of green plant matter, and convert it into glucose. Since plant waste is inexpensive and abundant, it can therefore be used as feedstock for the sustainable cultivation of our nutritional yeast. But in creating OVIDA, we didn't just address factors that have limited the success of previous initiatives, such as lack of sustainability. We also work to address factors that contribute to VAD itself. For example, consuming vitamin A won't prevent VAD if diets are also deficient in healthy fats, which are necessary for the body to take in vitamin A. For this reason, we've ensured that our yeast is abundant in healthy fats. VAD can also be exacerbated by intestinal parasites, so we're in the process of engineering our yeast to produce thymol. Thymol is a biomolecule that's toxic to these intestinal parasites, but beneficial for humans, making it an additional tool to help communities tear down the wall of VAD. By enabling communities to ensure the sustainable and community-based production and distribution of vitamin A, OVIDA will decrease global rates of vitamin A deficiency and preventable blindness and mortality, as well as open avenues for the mitigation of other nutritional deficiencies. Although we know that individuals in VAD regions are generally accepting of GMO food products, we're currently further looking into OVIDA's community integration. So the biggest question that keeps me up at night? When will COVID-19 regulations permit us to apply our lab designs to the design of the field container in which communities will grow our nutritional yeast?